My one social thing that I did in high school was I had a little art club that met every Wednesday, I think. And it was just after school, I would go and we would doodle and draw and stuff and do paintings and just kind of talk. And oftentimes, uh, most of the other people who went to this art club also identified as trans. And so trans related discussions and stuff would come up all the time. And so the teacher who presided it was this woman and she was very sweet and just very funny and very, I don't know, you, you could tell that she kind of really cared about us in this art club and she would just like really um, make a point of giving us feedback and talking to us about our lives and stuff like that, asking us questions. And I always wish that I had like a closer relationship with her, but I don't know, I was, I was just very, I was pretty standoffish at that age. I told her that I was trans at some point and she, you know, she like heard me out. I could tell that she really didn't understand because like I said, I, I never really was very boyish. It was just kind of like, I'm sure a lot of people were like, that's random. Yeah, she heard me out and she kind of talked to me a little bit about it. And then I thought, great, she accepts me, she, she, I'm trans. And then the next day she used she pronouns for me. And I remember feeling kind of like confused. I was like, wait a minute, how can you care about me but then not use my pronouns? And it was, diff it was a different situation than, for example, with my parents where I didn't feel like they were hearing me out and I didn't, there was just so much antagonism between us that when they didn't use my pronouns, I was just like, okay, I hate you. Like that was the, it was cut and dry. But with this teacher, because she had shown interest in me and like concern for me in the past, and then she also didn't use my pronouns, I didn't feel that immediate anger towards her. I just, I kind of felt a little bit weary. I was like, okay, what does this mean? She's not using my pronouns, but she was being so caring to me. Can I trust her? It was kind of like this confusing feeling, but um, yeah, I think that that just kind of reinforces what I was saying where if you, as someone who's conscious of what's going on in that young girl's life, can make an effort to like really prioritize her feeling heard and uh, respected and listened to and like someone really cares, someone's noticing that pain um, that, that she's going through, that can go a long way um, to the point where you can even do things like not use the right pronouns and you won't get annihilated. But it's very complicated, it's not so cut and dry. It's like layers and layers and layers and layers of emotional confusion that's all coming through this political gender lens and it's really hard to know what to do. I don't envy parents in this situation. But yeah, I think that teacher was a good example of kind of how the, the walls that I was putting up could be broken down a little bit by someone just showing interest in me and taking me seriously, but also not 100% agreeing with my perspective on the situation.